guys, Brandon here. Uh, spring is here and um, there's no more snow on the ground. <clears throat> my snow tires are off. I'm now back to summer tires, so that means my overall energy use is going to change. Now, I have been tracking um, my um, mileage and energy use on the Tesla since uh, December 1st of last year. So, December, January, February, and March. Um, I've tracked the data because I wanted to find out what approximately was my winter energy use. So let's check it out. All right, so uh, first here, uh, again, this is um, December 1st through the end of March. So let's see, one, two, three, that's four months. I traveled 3,800 and about six miles, we'll say 3,800. And I used um, 1,563.6 kilowatt hours of energy. I took one trip to um, Chicago, um, which is about 300 miles round trip or thereabouts, something like that. And I did supercharge for that. So, um, but most of this is. Um, is charging in my garage. I didn't do a whole lot of supercharging this this season. And uh, the average efficiency over that entire time is 411 watt hours per mile, um, which uh, I need to look up um, what I said my summer use because I can't remember. I, I think it was around 300 something. So uh, based on my experience, I, expect, I expected to be using about um, a third more which um, some people say is unrealistic, but uh, that's my experience. And a lot of the times I'll use actually way more than this. This is just an average. You know, if, if there's a couple inches of snow on the ground or if it's really slushy um, and the battery has to heat itself up and the cabin has to be heated, you can, um, you can easily use 600 watt hours per mile, which really eats into your range. But anyway, so over the winter, I averaged 411 watt hours per mile. So I wanted to calculate um, how much is that costing me when I ch charge in my uh, garage. Um, so here's a breakdown of my electric charges. Um, I'm on a time of use plan, which means that depending on what time of day it is, I have a different rate. Mine through my energy company in West Michigan is um, specifically designed for people who have electric vehicles. Um, and it, it mainly is, the, the changes are more drastic in the summer. There's actually three different tiers. But the night rate strays extremely cheap um, when there's not a whole lot of demand, not nearly as much electric use on the grid, and so I can um, charge a lot cheaper. Anyways, um, I have that all spelled out in my previous video on energy usage, but this is specifically about winter usage. Uh, so I charge during the off-peak, uh, which is in the winter, I think it's, oh man, what is it? I don't know, 9 o'clock to 7 in the morning or something like that. Um, it's a pretty large chunk of time. I actually have my Tesla set to start charging it at midnight. Um, and the reason for that actually um, is that if I have a completely empty battery, it takes about, I don't know, maybe 7 hours or something to charge the battery. And it's a level two charger that I have in my garage, so 240 volts or 230 or whatever it is. Um, and that's nice in the winter because if I'm charging from a depleted battery, that means it will end, um, you know, within an hour or so of when I'm going to be leaving somewhere. And so my battery will still be warm from charging. And, um, you know, that's it. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I wanted to break down here. So my off-peak energy, my the, the technical rate for off-peak is about six cents per kilowatt hour, which is really cheap. Um, and some people will throw around their, you know, the cost of like, oh, my electricity is five cents, six cents, ten cents, or whatever. Technically, mine is six cents, but it's not six cents because there's uh, there's a lot of additional fees that get added on to. So I'd love to hear what other people's cost is, but if you do say your cost, make sure that you're adding in all these extra fees, because I'll show you what I, I don't even know what these are. P P S C R. I have no idea. It's like a one ten thousandth of a penny. Um, or no wait, this isn't dollars. So it's like one, one one hundredth of a penny, six one hundredths of a penny, sorry. Uh, system access that's a flat charge is seven dollars. I don't I don't include that because I'd be subscribing to that anyway. And then there's a distribution fee, 
of uh, four and a half cents per kilowatt hour. That's the big one. So if you look at your bill, find the distribution fee that probably will increase your rate from what you might think you're paying. Electric inter interim surcharge, whatever, I don't know. Energy efficiency charge, I don't know what that's for. Power plant securitization, don't know what that's for. And then there's a low income assist fund um, that they, uh, basically I guess I pay into for low income assist areas. Um, so anyway, I tallied all that up and my electricity comes to 11.3 cents um, per kilowatt hour at the cheapest amount. So I used 1,500 and we'll just average it 60 times 0.113. And again, most of this was at home. I did do a little bit of supercharging here and there, but it was pretty minimal. So this will this will be pretty accurate. So that means from December to March, I used uh, $176, and let's divide that by four months. I know February is a short month, but you know we're rounding here. $44.07. So that's a little bit high, um, at least for the Tesla, uh, and for an electric vehicle. But again, I'm using 411 watt hours per mile, uh, 255 watt hours per kilometer. Um, for those of you across the Atlantic pond. So that's that's pretty high um, Again, I usually I think I usually use about a third of that in the summer when thing uh, the road conditions are drier The battery is cooler. I don't have to use the. I mean yeah, the battery is warmer um, And the air conditioner doesn't use nearly as much uh, energy as is creating heat does so I just looked um, back at a video I did last year um, charging a Tesla at home, my setup energy use, etc. And it looks like over the summer I used uh, 2.4, let's see, 2,430 kilowatt hours and I averaged 302 watt hours per mile. So that's significantly um, less. It's, uh, so I used 30% more, over 30% more actually in the winter. Um, which actually is pretty good. I thought it was going to be a little bit more than that, but uh, that's pretty decent. Also in that previous video I calculated that I used um, about 28 or I it cost me $28 a month on average during the summer um, to charge the Tesla at home. Uh, so about 30 um, and so that actually makes about sense uh, or that makes um, that's about right because uh, you know 30 <clears throat> my efficiency was about 300 watt hours per mile I was spending about $30 a month and now in the winter, my uh, use was 411 watt hours per mile and my cost was $44 per month. So um, it's all adding up and, and staying proportional. So I think it's uh, reasonably accurate. Of course, in uh, fall and spring, you know, they're not hot, but they're not cold. So it's probably somewhere in the middle. Uh, I'm probably using about 35, uh, I don't know, maybe $35 or something a month. Um, but that's pretty interesting. Uh, that's you know that's um, you know definitely confirms uh, my feeling that I use a lot more energy. Um, I thought I thought I might actually be using about forty percent more in the winter, but according to my data, that's not correct. The next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm leaving that that trip meter on in the car. It's um, that I I turned on in December first, so. Uh, it should go, I think I'm going to leave it till next December and I'm just going to track um, how much energy I use in a year and then um, back calculate how much how much energy cost that is. Um, the price that I'm paying per kilowatt hour doesn't change that much because again I charge off peak and my off peak rate is the same um, in summer and winter. It's just the daytime uh, rates change. Uh, specifically, they're higher in the summer because that's when everybody has their ACs on and stuff. Um, and actually, it would be high in the winter as well if electric was used for heat, but here it's mostly natural gas. Um, so there's uh, so er er um, electricity is cheaper in the winter. All right, well, this was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, um, but I hope that was interesting. Uh, any comments, questions, um, yeah, leave, leave them down below. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next video.